the first thing that really uh, enticed me was the you know the opportunity to work with Thomas and um, then I read the script really liked it um, really liked the character and uh, and this kind of genre of film anyway when it's done right uh, and then I started to introduce myself to the books and to um, Yo Nesbo's uh, Harry Hole and uh, and the world that he sort of occupies and uh, I've I've loved them I've I've actually really uh, um, become very fond of of the character. Harry is uh, he's somebody who's very good at his job. Uh, he's very intelligent. Um, I would say very sensitive. Uh, um, not necessarily interested in being socially accepted, uh, even in his workplace. It's not to say that people don't like him, but they, you know, he sort of is a bit of a loner and um, and forces people to sort of work more than they might like to. The character of Katrine, played by Rebecca Ferguson, uh, is uh, mm, uh, an interesting character. I think she's somebody that intrigues Harry um, right from the first time he meets her. There's something different about her compared to the other um, aspiring detectives, you know, police officers at, at the at the police depot. I think he's she has a passion and uh, a verve for police work that he can identify with. She is trying to sort of bring him in to this case, these sort of women that have um, some gone missing and others sort of uh, found murdered. And she has a personal collection, connection to that case. And she's trying to draw Harry in to help her solve it because he has this reputation of, of, of being able to solve even the most impossible cases, as it were. It's a very sort of equal um, banter that they have, even though he's definitely superior in his um, experience and knowledge in the field. He's older and he's been doing it for longer and at a higher rank. rank there is a playfulness between them. She's a very strong character and Rebecca's playing her very strong. She's kind of stubborn, slightly pig-headed and, and uh, won't, doesn't like very much to be told what to do. So you've got a kind of fun uh, sparring going on between the two of them. Thomas is a very rare type of filmmaker and there's not many like him out there, that's for sure. There's a handful and um, how he goes about storytelling and uh, not only with his sort of involvement with the script but also how he tells the story visually and uh, and it's it's like I've said before, proper filmmaking. It's the old sort of craft of filmmaking where you're not relying on a cutaway here, an insert here to describe the story or explain something about the story. There's a flow to the camera, and and where we don't have to, where he doesn't have to cut, he won't cut. So, did you like Michael Fassbender in that video? Well, did you know that before he made his first big screen debut in Tom Hanks and Steven Spielberg's award-winning television miniseries Band of Brothers, the actor starred as the main character in the music video for the song Blind Pilots by the British band The Cooper Temple Close. In the video, he plays the part of a man out with friends on a stag night who slowly transforms into a goat due to wearing a cowbell necklace. He was also seen in early 2004 in a Guinness television commercial, The Quarrel, playing a man who swims across the ocean from Ireland to apologize personally to his brother in New York. This commercial won a gold medal at the 2005 Fab Awards. Are you a Fassbender fan? What's your favorite movie starring the actor? Let me know in the comments below. Remember to subscribe and ring the notification bell to always receive the latest trailers the moment they are online. See you next time.